All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be doing a legendary run, how to get as much points as possible before September 8th. As you can see here on the Fallout 76 news, the legendary run is going to come to an end. Now, I'm not sure what's going to be called the legendary run for season two, but I guess this season one is about to finish. I'm not even sure how they're going about it. But if you guys are like me, um, you're like almost there in the end. As you can see here, I'm kind of creeping up to the end right now. And I need as much points as possible. So I found a cool spot that I want to share you guys uh, how to get literally 200 for like less than like 10 minutes, like 200 points. And the only reason I'm saying 200 and not 100 is because uh, the XP thing, which is repeatable, you only get 100. But, you know, since they're doing this special event where everything is double, you actually get 200, which is not bad. Way better than 100. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it and how I'm going to catch up to uh, hopefully rank 100 by before September 8th. All right, guys, now that we loaded in, oh, hold on, stay out of this world, whatever. Uh, now that we loaded in, um, as you can see here, my repeatable gain XP, it's 8,749. And uh, we are at this location, which is West Tech. This is the best spot I found, which I kind of like because you also get caps out of it, uh, just for fast travel or whatnot. But um, there's a lot of other better spots to get XP, but I find West Tech to be more quicker for me personally, even though a lot of people have said that this takes longer. I found it personally that this is a lot quicker. Um, and I also recommend endgame players to do this. However, if you are a new player, the super mutants do scale based on your level. And as you can see here, I have the bug where the super mutants are uh, level 10, which they shouldn't be. They should be level 40 or 60 uh, scaling to my level. Anyway, what you'll need for this, uh, just to you know, get the most out of it, and for each time you do this run, you'll get 200 of the legendary score. So you'll get 200 of those repeatable, guarantee one run, and then you could just rinse and repeat by server hopping. Uh, what you will need is unyielding armor. So you'll need a full set of five uh, unyielding. That's why I said for endgame players. However, if you are new, you, I still recommend doing it because you'll get XP out of it, which, you know, if you're new, you kind of do need XP first before you could get any other stuff. So you'll need a full set of unyielding. You'll need cranberry relish. Uh, there's a lot of other guides of, of other people how to get cranberry relish. It's really easy. Uh, I recommend taking a five minute stroll and, you know, finding how to get cranberry relish. It's super easy, super quick, and it gives you a bonus of 10% XP. Now, you'll also need five charisma. I mean, three charisma, sorry. You'll need three. I don't know where I got five. Uh, you'll need three charisma so you could get the inspirational perk, which is when you are on a team, gain 15% more XP. Then you'll need to go to your teams and join a random team. Doesn't matter. Now, the cool thing about this is that you don't need the bonus to be times four to get the effect of the team. You're already on a team, so you get the 15% automatically. Plus, you get one point of intelligence just for being on that team until your bar maxes out and then you can get times four. But we're not really focused on the times four because by the time uh, you finish this run, the meter won't even be halfway full, hopefully. Uh, so you'll need Cranberry Relish and you'll need Berry Mentats. Now, I'm going to make a separate video on how to get chems, like random chems and stuff like that. Uh, you could use your robot to find random chems, but there's a really cool spot where you could just grind for it and you'll get Berry Mentats as well as Buff Out, Daddy O, all that good stuff. Now, Berry Mentats gives you a plus 5 intelligence and highlights your enemies, which means in this run, we'll be able to literally see every enemy's position and get the most XP out of this location. Uh, without further ado, I think we are good to go, right? I covered all my bases, yep, alright, so what I'm gonna do, which I recommend everybody do, is do this run, play some music, do some YouTube stuff while you're on the side, because it's gonna get repetitive, um, but I'm gonna speed through this, so that you guys can see how it's done, and how much XP you get out of it, you literally get one 200 uh, legendary points for this run, uh, before we start, I do wanna track my progress, so okay, it's trackable. So right now I have 8,749, like I said in the beginning. Uh, we will be well above that by the end of this run. So let's get started.
All right, guys, and that about does it. Uh, as you can see there, I died many times. Uh, you will die. That's the bad part. And also, I'm a liar because we just got to our times four bonus. Uh, however, my berry mentats did run out, so that was a big factor. But as you can see, I literally just got 10,000 experience just on that run that took me like even like less than 10 minutes. As you can see here, I literally got 10,000. I'm back to 8,000 plus. Uh, just to do it again and what you can do now is just server hop uh, which is easier just leave a team and leave the server just rejoin and you'll find a different server with the enemy spawned again so this is a real quick easy way to get 200 score for the legendary run that's about to finish uh, September 8th so hope you guys take advantage of this as I'm not sure if they're gonna make a season 2 hopefully they do but it'll be nice to get that skin at the end of the trail Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next part. Take care.